Okay, brothers and sisters, this is kind of a weird looking video, but just hear me out because I'm, I just got a revelation from our King. Praise Yeshua. Um, something that I have always known, but he just completely revealed it to me. Um, he just said in Revelation 3, he said, He that overcometh, just as I have overcometh, Remember, he overcame the world. Jesus overcame the world. And I am sat down at the Father, next to the Father. So will you, as you will, if you overcome, as I have overcome, then you will sit down with the Father. This just confirms what I'm trying to show everybody. Well, well not me, but the Lord is trying to show everybody. The Lord God, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, is trying to show everybody is that um, to overcome the world is to leave this world, to go and be with him, to overcome this world and all of the hate, um, because they hate, if, if it says in the word of God that you will have persecution, people will mock you and, and persecute you, you will have all manner of, um, of hatred from men, they, it may be, you're blessed if men hate you, that's what he says, so all these people who are going around, you know, this whole and we are to love our enemy as ourselves. We're to love each other and, and love one another. This is true, but they've distorted that truth. And they are making a kingdom on earth, the, these uh, reset. And I've been doing some um, videos on the getting together and reset. Um, they want to gather together um, a church on earth. But it's to get to get to get the church of God. It's to get her to make her believe a lie. And what it is doing is it's a um, a resetting of Earth. They're gonna give money and do all sorts of things in order to make it to, to make their one world global order. Now Jesus said that you'll sit. I will give to you to sit on the throne with me, with my Father, as I have done that. And then in another place in Revelation, he says this in a way that is very clear that we leave the earth to go to the new kingdom and the new, the new heaven and the new earth that he has created. He goes to prepare a place for us. And whenever he goes to prepare a place with, for us, it's also he's working on our inside. You know, he's, he's cleaning up our stuff. But there's a kingdom somewhere else. He says, I'm far I'm from far from here. And he's sitting on his throne of glory now. He is, um, he is with his bride right now. He's, he's um, in the spirit. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But at the same time, in you dwelleth no good thing. Okay, so what our bodies are is the no good thing. The, the flesh and the blood is the no good thing. But what's inside of that, underneath the flesh and bone here, is the new creature in Christ with his Holy Spirit. He's, and we're born again of his spirit. It's an instant thing whenever we believe we are born again into his kingdom. So we're both in heaven and on earth. And we're cleaning up things, um, helping bring people in and getting all the junk out. The stuff that the, that the world has put into our kingdom. They buy the TV, kind of re, refix our brain and, and, and put things into our brain that's not true. Um, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, you are born again of his spirit. And that means that you have him in you and that you already have a mind of Christ. Okay. It's not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And you have to just persevere through this life. But what they're doing, what the Zionist one world globalists are doing, uh, the brainwashers who are the kings of the earth, the merchants and the sorcerers, of Revelation chapter 17 through 19 and we see what happens to those people um, they are serpents who are deceiving the nations lying and deceivers who are creating a, a two-state thing they're dividing the baby like the, the two women that fought over the baby I don't know if some of you get this the two women that fought over the baby one of them wanted to cut the baby and one of them wanted just to, just said fine give her give her the baby because um, she knew that she didn't want her, it was her baby, she didn't want the baby to be cut. See, the mother of us all is New Jerusalem above, above. And so anyone who's speaking the true word of God, because the Christ is doing it through us, it's not us. Christ of heaven is, is speaking through us. We have living waters coming from our belly. That's the word of God spoken without man's interpretation, man or, or woman's interpretation. It's just the word of God coming through. That's the mother of us all. 
they want to cut the baby, cut the, the Jews and the Gentiles that's cutting the church, but the Gentiles are really the heathen, and Jesus is really the new Jerusalem. He's really Jerusalem, Israel. Jesus is Israel. The new Jerusalem is above in heaven. The new kingdoms, not on earth. It says, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And these men want a kingdom on earth. It's a way of getting the bride, you guys. It's a way of getting the bride on earth and tricking her. So what we have to pray for is that the bride is not tricked. Pray that the bride will not fall for the deception. Pray and bind up these kings of earth, these merchantmen, these sorcerers who are deceiving the people in the churches. Pray that God would move his bride out of the church building so that they cannot be deceived by wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to reset this whole kingdom here on earth and have a new kingdom. Because that's what they've done over time and again since Nimrod and the Tower of Babel. Anyways, I love you all and pray, pray, pray. God bless you.